Welcome back to another vlog guys and today we're in an area what the locals call the Badlands. There's a bit of a peninsula on the lake that we're going to try and get onto now. So this is Barranco de Gabas and it was declared a natural landscape in 1995. The ravines and canyons have actually been corroded by the action of water over millions of years. So as Jordan already said, it is actually locally known as the Badlands or the Moonscape because of the harsh habitat for the wildlife and the plants. So the area also includes the Algeciras Reservoir, which supplies water to Gabas and the other local villages. This is just a sheer drop all the way down. <laughs> Class. can't actually get down to the lake um, just because the paths are way too steep and they're crumbling away on our foot so but other than that cracking view isn't it amazing honestly it's like nothing i've ever seen before it's beautiful isn't oh it? it's it's unreal so that's the thing about coming to spain at this time of year you set off walking in the morning and it is absolutely freezing by this time oh my god we are sweating and out of breath and dressed for winter. <laughs> We're back at the van now. And we're gonna head off to this wild swimming spot. And then tonight, we've got a bit of a treat. We're going to a fire show on the beach. These chocolate croissants from the Mercadona have been fueling our road trips, honestly. Best things ever, full of Nutella. What more could you want? found it. This is well cool. Oh. Ah. <coughs> Waterfalls there. And you got this like little ravine bit. Wow. So this is Salto del Acero, I think it's pronounced. And it's quite literally a paradise in the middle of Mercia. See if we can get a better view. <laughs> Whoa. Where's Annalise gone? I bet she's found her way down. Yeah, she has as well. She's there. <laughs> Looks mega, doesn't it? Whoa. Look at this place. This is unreal. You can tell in the summer it'll be just full air, uh, full of people. This is insane up here. Check this out, Lee. <laughs> whoa, 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 look. <laughs> that is class. Come on, guys, that is mega, isn't it? 
If this is in the UK, it would be absolutely a So this place is seriously impressive. Because we're so far inland in Mercia, all the locals use this as like their little beach. So in summer, as you can imagine, it is absolutely packed. In winter, the sun doesn't quite hit it. I'm out of breath from walking. So it's a little bit cooler. <coughs> so, we're not so we're not gonna go in today. But honestly, definitely worth the drive to see that. Look at this idiot thinking it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just been walking to the van. I was walking up some steps there so I could see underneath the van. And um, yeah, the exhaust looked like it was like bent like this. Check this out. Friggin' exhaust clamp has snapped. Oh, Stay at that. Well, I don't think that's, that's fully off that is. That's fully snapped off. How's it held up then? What's it held up with? Looks like we're gonna have to try and find um, a place where I can put a new mount on. Um, but luckily I did bring me grinder with me because I had a feeling <coughs> I'd need to cut somewhere off. So I'll just cut that and then um, fit a new bracket on it, put some exhaust paste on and then hope that it holds up, fingers crossed. We've just called at a place called Lorca to try and find a auto parts store. But we've not eaten all day, so we're absolutely starving. Jordan's getting hungry and ratty, and we've just come across the golden arches. McDonald's. So we're going to go treat ourselves to a nice McDonald's. And there's a petrol station as well, 134. So if we can get everything done here, like feed me, fill the van up, and get the bracket, then happy day. <laughs> oh, wait, don't eat them yet. Why? McShaker, so you put your chips in there. Mm -hmm. Put that in. Shake them up. What is it, Al? I think it's like a red salt type thing. So in this McDonald's, you can actually get chicken wings. Look at that. Mega. <clears throat> so we've just drove to Mercedes-Benz commercials in the hopes that they might have this exhaust clamp that we need. But it only opens at four o'clock and we are on 3.20. Here they are, the gang turning up for work. After the siesta. Jack and they must go back and have like a, a meal, chill out, glass of wine, <laughs> and then turn back into back work. work. Yeah, so the opening hours for this place just up there, nine till two and then four till seven. Siesta time. It's just going in now, so fingers crossed everyone. Just the papers so that they can get the right one, but I think they have them in stock. Oh, amazing! I know, brilliant. They got all sorts of. They got full parts section in there. That's so it. yeah, but um, our sprinter, same sprinter as this, same face. There's literally like 30 of them in the car park. Is it? Yeah, it's a very, very. It was like very common, very common. It's like, um, don't speak a lot of English, so it's quite hard. And that uh, translate app isn't even isn't showing right as well. Is it not? No. I think this is it, isn't it? Another thing that is broken is not the camera, luckily, touch wood, but um, before I kind of sat on top of the mic, well, sat on top of the whole camera, so I've just snapped the little plastic thing. 
So I'm going to try and get one off Amazon and deliver it to an Amazon locker because they're all over Spain. Because right now we just have a dangly mic. Um, but luckily we're using the GoPro and the mic's not too bad on there. So it's all good. We've got a backup. The part's in uh, Mercia. So um, he said he can order it and it'll come tomorrow. He's just ordered it now for me. The translate was actually okay in the end. Um, started working and I picked up on a few words that he was on about anyway so oh, he didn't have to keep pressing his button but yeah kind of got used to it aren't we? <laughs> yeah so we're gonna head to the beach now enjoy the rest of the day and the night with some friends that we've met and then head back up here tomorrow yeah so we've just got to the park up for tonight and literally just sat in the hatch this is the front of the van on the back here <laughs> Just looking out at the view, we're parked on the beach. Let me show you. Now we're all the mess in the cab, but look at that. This is Jordan here. I think he's just been fishing. Is he gonna give you a wave? No? Hello? Hello? <laughs> so it's about seven o'clock. Everyone's down at the beach having a fire and waiting for the fire show so we're going to head down there now guys so we are going to do a bit of a chore day today we're going to try round two of getting Jordan a new phone because he smashed his um we're going to get some shopping in try and get the part from Mercedes they've ordered it in so fingers crossed that'll be there today and what else pretty much a bit of a chore day really isn't it yeah top up the water we went to the toilet the other day so that should be fine uh, but yeah, so we're planning to be in the same spot now for Christmas and Christmas is six days away So we're gonna stock up on loads of stuff nice Christmas food and chill out So first stop is the what is it called I again? I think it's a plaza Carrefour. No, it's a plaza. It's like an indoor shopping center. Oh, well first stop there Trying to get his phone and shopping. I think this one will yeah. be but Basically, it's a bit of a better version of the hard shore center in St. Helens <laughs> 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 I shouldn't have really said anything about the hard shore centre because I think this is turning out like it. Everywhere's shut. <laughs> I have to walk like this. My feet keep slipping on this floor. It's so shiny. Yeah. Managed to bag a new phone, which we'll do for now. And get a screen protector and a uh, for it as well, eh? Yeah. Yeah, head over to that shop. What have you just got? Garlic bread. <laughs> Successful day. Jordan's got his new phone, screen protector on it, case on. And he's got a Jordan case for his name. <laughs> um, we've got barbecue coals, some shopping. So I think now we're going to head to the Mercadona because the Carrefour is a little bit expensive for your normal shop. Just pulled over at like a service station truck stop and we've got a lavo matic so we're gonna do our washing oh yeah 
Let's get it all in. What do you reckon then? Two small or one big? Uh, up to you. Have a look. They come with detergent. Oh yeah, soap and softener included in the wash. Right, okay. I think that should do. They're a little bit full, but... Oh well. So we was on our way to Mercedes and the part fully give way on the motorway and it's now dragging let me show you <laughs> so this is what the exhaust looks like <laughs> the whole thing is detached from the um dpf dpf's just there and the back box is just here so i'm just going to pull it off that mount there chuck it in the back and then crack on to mercedes fancy that eh? did last a while though considering it was in half for a bit so there we go there's one part of the exhaust so is that what was hanging up yeah that what? whole thing yeah it was dragging along the floor <laughs> but really nice spanish guy just come running over with some um, wire and cable and he said like you know if you need to prop it up just give us a load of the cable so it's nice of a minute yeah really nice so yeah let's go and get a new it's only that mount there that stupid bracket so that's all we need and then you can pop it back on. Oh look, you're matching. What? You got your Mercedes t-shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the part. And he also gave me 10% discount as well. A really, really nice guy. Um, I think it's because I was really trying with my Spanish. But yeah, 10% discount should have been, how much was it? 30 odd something, I got for 28.37. Spot on. Can't knock that. So that's it for today, guys. Part sorted. We're going to drive back to the beach now and chill out. You will be seeing this on Christmas Day, so I hope you're all having an amazing day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're still having an amazing day. And I'm waffling on, so we will see you next week. <laughs>